Step into the time machine, and let me whisk you away to the enigmatic 1950s, a paradoxical era where the economy soared like a rocket, yet the dissonant echoes of inequality reverberated through the air. It's the saga of a pioneer who dared to challenge the status quo, leaving an indelible mark on the legacy of Wall Street. This is no ordinary tale. This is the legacy of Muriel F. Mickey Siebert, pioneering the stock exchange. Can you feel a pulse of history quickening? Mickey, a spirited force, wasn't one to conform. No, she carved her path through the bustling streets of Cleveland, challenging norms and breaking barriers. Can you imagine the grit it took to navigate a male-dominated Wall Street in the 1950s? It was like wading through uncharted waters, where only a handful of women dared to tread. Mickey was one of them, and she wore her determination like armor. Outsider was the label society tried to slap on her, but she never gave up. Can you sense the sparks flying already? Let's step back into the gritty streets of Cleveland, Ohio, on September 12, 1928. Close your eyes, and you can almost see the crucible of modest beginnings, where Muriel F. Mickey Siebert was forged. Erwin and Emma Siebert, her parents, bequeathed her a relentless work ethic, but financial shackles threatened to stifle her dreams after high school. Now, can you feel the tension in the air? A tenacious dreamer, Mickey wrestled her way into Western Reserve University with a scholarship. The year is 1952, and armed with a business degree, she faced the male-dominated financial battleground of the 1950s. Can you hear the battle drums? Her medal sharpened on the anvils of adversity in night classes at New York University who came her clandestine arsenal. She was honing her financial prowess while the world remained oblivious. Can you sense the undercurrent of audacity in those early chapters of her saga? It was the script of a maverick, poised for an epoch-making future. Now, as shadows fade into light, a phoenix rises, the journey from a modest Cleveland home to the relentless halls of Western Reserve University was a mere prelude. The world may have underestimated her, but Mickey Siebert was about to unleash a tenacious force that would defy every barrier in her path. Fast forward to 1954, and the neon-lit canyons of Wall Street echo with the stiletto footsteps of a disruptor. Amidst a tempest of male hostility, Mickey infiltrates the inner sanctum of Back In Co.'s investment research department. It's 1957, and she defiantly claims her throne as the first woman on the New York Stock Exchange's analyst desk. Imagine the intensity of her battle. The divorce in 1964 adds a poignant chapter to her story. Yet, it's from these embers of personal struggles that a crusader emerges. The 1960s become her crucible, forging Mickey into a revered financial analyst and setting the stage for a revolutionary leap into the unforgiving terrain of entrepreneurship. Can you feel the intensity building up? The dust settles from her battles on Wall Street. Scars of triumph tell tales of a maverick undeterred. The analyst's desk at Back & Co. was a battleground, and the divorce in 1964 only fueled her fire. From the ashes of adversity, Nikki Siebert rose, not as a victim, but as the orchestrator of her destiny. Can you see the stage being set for a seismic shift that would redefine the very fabric of finance? Now, brace yourself for the tumultuous year of 1967. Mickey Siebert seizes the reins of destiny, founding Muriel F. Siebert & Co. A thunderclap echoes in 1969 as she etches her name in history, becoming the first woman to claim a seat on the NYSE. Can you feel the ground shaking beneath your feet? Armed with a meager $445,000, her financial alchemy turns adversity into opportunity. She stated, I always wanted to get into the bastions of power and I believe I have the qualifications to help move this country ahead. Can you feel the resonance of her words? So you see, Mickey Siebert, a lone warrior, storms the male-dominated bastions of Wall Street. It's like a cinematic spectacle where challenges, resembling wild beasts, bow before her innovative promise. Imagine the air crackling with audacity as discounted commissions become her battle cry. By 1969, her firm, a behemoth with $1.5 million in capital, stands tall, a monument to her defiance. Muriel F. Siebert & Co. isn't just a brokerage, it's a seismic shift, a beacon of triumph against the storm, etching Mickey Siebert's legacy into the bedrock of Wall Street. Can you feel the ground shaking beneath your feet? In the crucible of entrepreneurship, Mickey doesn't just carve a niche, she forges a legacy demanding recognition on the grandest stage. Little do we know the seismic shift awaiting. 
A shift propelling Mickey from being a formidable brokerage pioneer to etching her name in history as the first woman to claim a seat on the hallowed grounds of the New York Stock Exchange. And then history unfolds on December 28, 1969, like a page-turner gripping us with anticipation. Mickey Siebert shatters the glass ceiling, becoming the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. Can you hear the echoes reverberating through the canyons of Wall Street? It marks a paradigm shift, a triumph that challenges the status quo. With a mere $445,000 investment, she declares, I always wanted to get into the bastions of power, and I believe I have the qualifications to help move this country ahead. Can you feel the audacity in her words? The reaction is a whirlwind of astonishment and admiration. Skeptical industry stalwarts soon acknowledge her acumen. Mickey Siebert, undeterred, etches her name in history, setting the stage for an era where gender is no bar to financial promise. But hold on, her triumph at the NOIC isn't just a personal milestone, it's a rallying cry for change. Having shattered the glass ceiling, she emerges ready to wield her influence in a new frontier, a frontier where gender equality and financial empowerment become the keystones of her unyielding mission. Embarking in the 1970s, Mickey Siebert emerges as a formidable advocate for gender equality on Wall Street. Navigating the male-dominated terrain, she declares, you don't need a pair of pants to be in the financial industry. Initiating programs and scholarships, she pioneers opportunities for women, fostering diversity. In 1977, she founded the Women's Financial Exchange to champion female financial professionals. Can you sense the tides of change? Financially empowering women becomes her rallying cry. Her efforts materialize in scholarships for female students, including a $100,000 gift to her alma mater. Mickey Siebert isn't just breaking ceilings, she's dismantling walls, paving the way for a more inclusive financial landscape. Having forged paths of equality, Mickey Siebert pivots from advocacy to governance. The 1970s morph into the 1980s, where she wields her influence to shape the regulatory landscape. As the first woman superintendent of banks for the state of New York, appointed in 1977, she champions transparency and integrity. Her imprint on the financial sector deepens as she contributes to the graham leach Bliley Act in 1999, fostering fair competition and consumer protection. During this period, she champions investor rights and financial literacy, co-founding the Investors Action Committee. Her commitment to a level playing field is evident in her advocacy for the Securities Investor Protection Corporation SIPC. The financial landscape bears the indelible mark of Mickey Siebert, a pioneer whose influence extends beyond gender equality to the varied fabric of financial governance. And as the ink of legislative influence dries, Mickey Siebert orchestrates a financial metamorphosis, turning pages from the codified corridors to the dynamic saga of Muriel F. Siebert & Co. In the dynamic landscape of the 1990s and 2000s, Muriel F. Siebert & Co. burgeons into a financial powerhouse. Mickey Siebert's innovative approach emphasizing discounted commissions and investor-friendly practices, propels her firm to unprecedented heights. By 2001, her company holds assets exceeding $6.5 billion, a testament to her strategic acumen. The impact isn't confined to balance sheets, it reshapes industry norms. Can you feel the pulse of change? Amidst this meteoric rise, accolades adorn Mickey Siebert. In 1994, she received the Outstanding Woman of the Year in Finance Award. Her alma mater, Case Western Reserve University, recognized her with an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters in 1999. Her indelible mark on finance is etched not just in numbers, but in the recognition of her peers and institutions. Now let's fast forward to the 2010s, where Mickey Siebert's legacy reverberates through the corridors of finance. Her lasting impact on women in finance is not just statistical, it's a paradigm shift. By 2013, women hold more than 40% of management roles at Muriel F. Siebert & Co. The context of evolving gender dynamics finds its prism in her achievements, challenging stereotypes. Can you feel the winds of change? I want to be a role model and encourage women to enter the financial field, quotes Mickey. Her legacy becomes a beacon for aspiring women, a testament that gender should never be a hindrance to financial prowess. In this era of change, Mickey Siebert's footprints become a roadmap for equality and excellence.
And as the 2020s unfold, the world continues to pay homage to Mickey Siebert's legacy. The New York Stock Exchange celebrates Mickey Siebert Day on December 28, 2020, honoring the anniversary of her NOISC seed acquisition. The establishment of the Siebert Entrepreneurial Philanthropic Plan furthers her impact, emphasizing financial education and empowerment. Posthumously, she receives the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2021 Women in Finance Awards. The Mickey Siebert & Co. Trading Room at Case Western Reserve University becomes a living memorial. As her pioneering spirit echoes, new generations in finance find inspiration in her journey, ensuring that Mickey Siebert's legacy transcends time, a beacon in perpetuity. In a grand tapestry of finance, Mickey Siebert's story is more than a chronicle. It's a symphony of audacity, resilience, and triumph. Remember, she wasn't just the first woman to own a seat on the NYSC or the architect of financial regulations. She was a force, a testament to the limitless potential within every dream. In the vast expanse of possibilities, let her legacy be your guiding star, and remember, the power to redefine, reshape, and conquer lies within you. The stage is yours. The symphony continues. Mickey's journey through finance was pretty wild. Well, hold on your hats because the excitement isn't over. If you're itching for more incredible stories about big shots and smart minds here in luck, just click right here for another super thrilling episode. And hey, hit that like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on the next blockbuster tale. Your sofa is your front row ticket to the empowering stories on our channel. So grab some popcorn and let's dive into the adventure together. The next big shot story is just around the corner, ready for the ride.